What's up guys, Substitute Teacher Talk here. I want to talk to you about one of my most favorite jobs and those types are actually the PE jobs, physical education. And so the reason why I like those a lot is you get to uh, dress up a little more casually, not to mention uh, the, the kids, they're not you know just in the desk, they get to move around, you don't have to just strictly have a little, like, a little more strict classroom management as people are kind of spread out, you're outdoors, don't really have to worry about the volume of the class, things such as that. I'm gonna go over a couple of things here, kind of give you some guidance. If you show up to a class and you uh, you don't have any sub plans, which has happened to me before at a school where there was a vacancy at, a, at an elementary school, as well as if, if you have some kind of flexibility, the teacher says, so yeah, just take them out there, you know, uh, feel free to do what you want. A lot of times if I'm there and I'm a classroom teacher, and we have a block of time, like 30, 35 minutes. It's good to have something in mind to do for the kids than just show up there and kind of ask the, the good student or somebody who looks like an athletic kid, oh yeah, what do you guys usually do? So just to give you some guys some ideas or kind of what to expect, what would be a, a good ideas? So first thing first, is you're gonna be going and doing uh, stretches. I would say do that for about five minutes. A lot of different basic stretches. You I mean you could go to a different YouTube video, watch what proper stretches to go and do. I mean the, the basics are you know tricep stretch behind the head, uh, shoulder stretch in front, touch your toes, uh, V stretch, sitting down, things such as that, jogging in place. Oh, and then uh, more thing too while I'm thinking about that is make sure that you have a whistle. That way you can kind of kind of indicate when things should be done and when they should be stopped, things such as that. Uh, so, you know, five minutes or so roughly for that, then do some kind of a warm-up where kind of just get the blood flowing, have them jogging around the whole PE area. And my, my kind of tip for this is to don't have them do a certain number of laps, but have it based on time. So I would say do like seven to 10 minutes of jogging the whole time. Or you could do like a jog walk where they start off walking for a minute. You could, you could time it, I make sure to watch too. Time it, like walking for a minute. You blow the whistle with your, watching your watch. They're running for one minute, and you blow the whistle again, and, they, and then they stop, start walking. So, you know, a cycle such as that. Then, actual, what, what I call this is uh, fundamentals. So here, you could go and do, um, you could do drills, soccer drills. Think of some kind of unit to focus on. You could do uh, uh, football. You can just start off doing basic passes. And then um, basic uh, throwing, throwing it around. Then you, as the teacher, would be going in the center. And then they could don't run different routes. All different kind of basic ones, like the button, the one where it uh, goes over the shoulder and they catch it, things such as that. If you're doing soccer, it would be the, the student would just be dribbling to himself to a cone and back, so set up cones, uh, have about maybe like a couple of different lines, maybe like five to eight different lines being on the class size, and they have them lined up at a cone, then they go up to 30, 40, 50 yards, dribble up and back, that would be the first one, then they could do passing, so the, the, the line next to them, they're just passing back and forth and then progressing up the field and come back, then it would be the person in the line who was behind them would go in front of them and turn and face them. And then the person who has the ball in the front of the line, they're trying to advance down the field. And then the person who's sitting in front of them facing them, they're trying to slow them down, prevent them from going down the field, kind of block them get possession of the ball and then go around them. As soon as the pair, as soon as the defender gets possession of the ball, they stop and then the next pair. 
Then the same thing really with, uh, with if you want to focus on a basketball unit. So the same thing, just uh, setting up lines, dribbling, you could do uh, both hands, just working on the coordination, back and forth, going up and back, and then focus on one hand, dominant hand, and then go to the cone and come back with the other hand, getting dual coordination, then passing, and then going behind the back, but advancing down the court, things such as that. So that would probably be about 20, 25 minutes then you could actually have them start playing games with whatever unit. So if it was uh, the fundamentals of soccer, you could then have them get in big groups and just pass it around and then play monkey in the middle. Or if you have the nets, you could actually play actual games, break them up into teams. For the game, you could also play other possibilities, uh, kickball, there's kickball basketball, uh, basketball game. If you have the flags, you do flag football. Also, there's one where they call it knockout, or depending on where you are in the country, it could be called gotcha. You can play dodgeball. I, I've, I've taught even uh, kindergartners dodgeball, and they, and they loved it. They had a lot of fun. They never played it before in their life. I taught it to them, and I was surprised they actually got it and they abide by the rules and they got out. It was it was pretty much it was it was a lot of fun. And then really I'll say something else too. The only difference between if you're doing a P class with elementary as opposed to uh, middle school or high school is with middle and high school you're gonna have to worry about um, what they call roll call numbers. So the kids go out there after their dress oh and then the dressing they dress out. So the kids go out there after they're dressed, and then they go on their roll call numbers. You're separated by a coach and then class, and then you do attendance with the roll cards, roll call numbers, and then the and the attendance for the class. That's pretty much it, really, for PE and PE classes. If you oh, actually, I had a couple other notes here. Glad I looked on the back side of this page uh, for elementary. You could, if it's like kindergarten or first grade, you could set up what I call fitness stations. Where, if you, if you don't want to focus on doing a game, you could do these fitness stations. And then every like four to five minutes, you blow the whistle and then just rotate to a different station. So you just spread out all the equipment. You could have jump roping at one, uh, dribbling and passing a soccer ball at one area. You could have them do sit-ups and push-ups with a partner at one you could do frisbee passing and then football throwing so let's see this so one two three four five or another one you could even do have them just do uh, walking walking around a big track area one two three four five five so every like yeah every five or six minutes have them switch that's 30 minutes right there and then even you could just, they could do it the same station twice again if it happens to be that way. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, post them down below and I'll try to answer them. Uh, good luck out there. Thanks for watching.